What's up, everybody? Brian Zach here. Finally at home again, off the road. Today, I want to show you my new drum kit. It's a Cannabis RFM club kit. I can't wait to show you. So come on with me and let's take a look at it up close. Okay, here we are. The Cannabis RFM club kit complete with champagne sparkle finish. Look at that gorgeous finish. Oh my word. With the gold lugs. Oh my, that pops, doesn't it? That is so awesome. Now, you might be wondering what is so special about this kit besides the way it looks, obviously. Well, it's the club kit. So that means this bass drum right here is 15 inches. 15 inches, I believe it's 15 by 14 depth. So 15 diameter, 14 depth. We have a 10 inch tom here. I think that looks like a 10 by seven, if I'm not mistaken. And a 13 by, I'm not sure, 13 by 12, 13 by 14. I don't really know. Um, my great friend Gary Gare Bear from Canopus sort of gifted me these drums, at least for the time being, at least for the foreseeable future. He let me have them, and one day I might actually pay him for these. But uh, he's he's so kindly let me hold on to them for the time being and i'm so excited to play them and uh experiment with them here in the studio and i've got some jazz gigs coming up that i can't wait to use them on um you can see gary's a remo guy so he has the remo heads installed here these are the coded ambassadors and there's a coded emperor down here on the batter side and the front head is a coded ambassador also so i'll be switching these out to aquarian as soon as possible uh it's a holiday week here so i don't know if i'll be able to get in touch with anyone at aquarian if anyone's gonna answer any emails uh, until the holidays are done. But So I might actually go down to Forks Drum Closet here in Nashville and see if they have any heads in these sizes. These are a little bit weird sizes, the 15 inch especially. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you these uh, under, the, under the studio lights here. And I've got them all set up under the mics. And so... Uh, next, I'm going to be giving you a, uh, a demonstration of how they sound. All right, I'm using the Yaiba Birch snare drum here with die cast hoops. So there we go. Yeah, all right. So as promised, let's uh, take these Canopus RFM club kit drums for a little test ride. Um, these heads and the way that they're tuned are the way that I received them. So I haven't touched them at all with a drum key as of yet. So uh, this is Gary's tuning.
Sorry, I had the, the, the vocal mic turned up there a second. Let's do that again with the vocal mic off this time. There you go. So um, I will be kind of messing around with the tuning a little bit and tuning them up, um, just to you know, because right now they're kind of they're kind of lower than I would put them if I was going to play like a any kind of a jazz gig, like a like a bebop, like a swing gig, you know, not a swing gig, like a jazz gig, a straight ahead like a bebop style, you know, piano trio style or something like that. Um. Right now they're they're really kind of cool and like kind of funky, like if I play something that's a little more,
these drums are incredible. I have to say, they are incredible. Like when I set them up here in the studio, before I put the mics on them, I just set them up, you know, with my, just with my ears, you know, and just set them up and started. I hit them a few times. I was just like, after hitting them a few times, I could not believe how good they sound. Really, I really mean that. I had heard these drums. I played them before at Gary's house in his basement, but like his basement is not an acoustically friendly space, let's just say, like my studio is. So I really, I wasn't really hearing the full potential of those, the, these drums in that space. I mean, I could tell that they were awesome, but like, wow. When I brought them in here, it was a whole nother level of like, whoa, these things sound not only amazing, but like bigger than they are. Like the 15 inch bass drum, it sounds like just like an 18 inch bass drum or maybe even bigger i'm not even sure like that like you know the way it's tuned right now i mean it's wide open it's ringing there's no felt on either head it's just all shell and like that attack and then that boom that like you hear all that air moving <laughs> what you can't see me doing is I'm I'm digging the beater into the head to like mute it Excuse my gig chops. I've been on the road for 10 days, and I took yesterday off. I haven't played the drums at all. I feel like my hands are just like, Brian, what are you doing to me? Please start practicing again. Start playing some rudiments and some Wilcoxon <laughs> and some stick control. Yeah, I really got to get my chops back in shape here. After being on the road for 10 days with Tori Martin, which was awesome, mind you, but just like, you know, playing 30-minute sets isn't exactly going to do it for, you know, me and keeping my hands and my chops together. So that's a whole nother topic that, you know, maybe we could talk about another time. But uh, for now, I just wanted to show you this video and show you these drums and get get you uh, acclimated to these drums, get me acclimated to these drums, and get, you know, I wanted to kind of share this with you. This is a really big deal for me. I, I love this drum kit. Uh, the potential here is amazing because not only can I use this for all my jazz gigs, and it's so portable. I mean, 15-inch bass drum, 15, 10, and 13. Oh, my word. It's like I could practically carry the whole thing on, like, with one hand, <laughs> you know? If you put them in cases. Um, yes. But also, like, you know, in the studio, I mean, I could I could mess with the tuning. I could turn this into, like, a like a 
like a loops kind of kit or like a hip hop kind of kit. You know, depending on the tuning and the heads you put on it, the the way you treat it, the way you mic it, and uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that this drum set can do. It's like a little sports car, uh, very versatile. Just because the shells and, and the the edges and everything is just done so well, I mean, my gosh, the 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 resonance. And then, like, it's it's such a nice family. Yeah, it's just gorgeous, just gorgeous sounding maple shells. The RFM kits. If you're if you're not aware of the Canopus RFM kits, they design the RFM series so that each size drum is made a little bit different than the next size down, if you will, uh, to to maximize the resonance and the tonality. For each size of the drum, there's there's a little bit difference in the way that the shells are made. I couldn't tell you what they are offhand. And I know there's there's re rings, there's small re rings on 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 these shells, and uh, I'm sure that has something to do with it as well. That with with the sound and the way that they're designed. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm not a representative, so I'm not. I'm not a, a hip to all the, you know, all the specs and everything. But, um, man, I'll just tell you, I mean, my ears love, love, love these drums. And my eyes do, too, because they, they look amazing. So, yeah, um, you know, I could tune it up and just... So there you go. There's a little bit of a higher tuning, um, you know, just real haphazardly, just kind of cranking up the the batter heads here. If I spent more time, I'd get around the front of the bass drum and tune up the resonant head because that would really raise the pitch. But for now, so I just kind of, you know, I brought up like four of the the lugs uh, on the bass drum batter side, and you can hear a little bit of a difference in the uh, articulation. Pitch went up too a little bit.
Yeah, I love these drums so much, you guys. So uh, you'll be seeing me playing these drums a little more often uh, around town and here in the studio. Um, and, you know, uh, both like for sessions and loops and kind of stuff like that. And, um, you know, I might invite a friend or two over as well, like I did with uh, with Sean a few weeks back. If you check out some of the videos that I posted, uh, the duet that I did with Sean Kenner on guitar when he came over here in the studio. So we're going to try and bring Sean back over and maybe even bring a bass player too if, if we can find one. So anyway, uh, just a quick update. You know, it's Thanksgiving week here in America and kind of things have shut down uh, for the week for the most part. Uh, I don't have any live gigs until the weekend, you know, um, Friday. I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this week. Today is Monday. So Thursday is Thanksgiving. So nothing's going to happen until Thanksgiving is done with, I think, especially like sessions or just no tours or anything like that. Um, the following week, I will be back on the road with Tori for two more dates up in Minneapolis and Des Moines, Iowa. And then back home again for the rest of the year until New Year's Eve, where I will be in Seattle with the Seattle Symphony. So it's been a great fall and like, you know, it's been a great way to end the year. I was I was in Japan for a week, uh, late October. I was in Indianapolis for another week uh, in November with the symphony there. And, uh, you know, and I posted videos on both of those uh, uh updates you know um and i have some more content probably from definitely from the japan thing so uh i'll i'll kind of sift um, you know sift through what i have and see if there's anything worth posting uh the indianapolis i do not have any footage of the concert or or the performances as the symphonies don't they really frown upon that kind of thing so i didn't want to piss anybody off um, so that is what it is. And then the Tory Martin, I did not bring my camera out with me. I just had my phone. Um, so I don't have any concert footage of that either, but I hope to bring my camera out with me on the next run to Minneapolis in Des Moines. So that, uh, would be nice to get some footage from that, uh, from those two performances. We're opening up where we have, we're in direct support opening slot for Drew Baldridge, and um, so, you know, the sets are really short. It's like a 25-minute set or something like that. Um, so, uh, anyway, that's what's going on in my life, and that's why I've been so busy and just kind of like, you know, posting updates whenever possible from hotel rooms and random things, like random things that, like, I had scheduled before I left. So just trying to keep the 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 patreon busy and you know um keep the content flowing if you will so ha thanks for hanging in there with me and just wanted to show you um a little bit of the kit so here we are cannabis rfm club kit look it up um uh, get one get one for your for yourself uh if you have the means all right guys i'm gonna leave you with that and I will see you on the next video.